Hello, good afternoon. This is Ernest Sears Jr. coming to you with SOS Consulting. As discussed last week, I wanted to give you guys uh, some information about red flags that you should look for in your teams, uh, in your groups, your inner circle, your inner sanctum. Red flags that will alert you as to who in your team, in your group, might be spreading negativity that may be causing problems. So one of the things that you wanna look for, number one, is a lack of enthusiasm about one's life. If there's somebody hanging around you who doesn't have a whole lot of enthusiasm about their own life, the things that they're working on, if there's no joy in their life, if there's nothing that they're working on that adds value to you, if they're not aligned with your vision and your purpose, that is a reason why you might want to question whether or not this is somebody you want in your life. I'm not saying you trash them or file 86 them, but it is a reason for you to reflect and decide whether or not this is somebody you want to continue to interact with. Another issue, uh, I would say step two when it comes to red flags, is individuals that seem constantly available and not engaged in self-improvement or growth. They're always available. Whenever you call, they're always there. They're never working on anything. They don't have any value at all. They don't have anything that they're bringing to the table. Um, they're, they're just constantly there filling space. And you might be able to fill that space with somebody that actually has value, somebody that's working on something that can contribute to your vision, somebody that has something you know uh, that they're working on of substance from a different angle that could really contribute to what you're trying to do. But having people around you that are just taking up empty space, you know, it's, it's really not going to help you in the long run and it's really not going to help them. So again, I'm not saying get rid of them, but it's moment, a moment for pause and it's time for you to coach them. You're going to either coach them to the left or to the right. When you coach them to the right, what you're doing is you're asking them questions to get them to, you know, decide whether or not they want to do something in their life, whether or not they have a vision that they want to work on. And if you are able to get them on track, great. You coach them to the right. You coach them to uh, actually stay in a particular place in your life and to have their own vision. But if you're not able to get them to respond in a productive manner, then you coach them to the, to the left. <laughs> you know, if it's someone on your team or an employee of yours, that's a disciplinary action. You're moving them possibly out of the door. Uh, if it's somebody in your inner life, your inner sanctum, who is not about anything in terms of personal development and growth, then that is not necessarily necessarily somebody you want to be spending the most of your time with. Remember, it's the five people that you spend the most time with in your life that reflect who you are. Uh, birds of a feather flock together. I mean, it's, it's kind of a cliche, but there's some truth to it. Uh, so next week, we're going to talk a little bit more about those things, but I wanted to touch on those uh, right now uh, to give you a feel for what's to come. Thanks so much for your time. And remember, you need to reflect, you need to recalibrate in order to reinvent.